Before we begin, I want you to put down your scribble. My scribble? You mean my signature? Let's not waste time here. You'll be sitting here all night, and I've got more important things to attend to. Screw you, Doc, okay? I'm trying to read the disclosure. Okay. Excellent. You made the right move. Just a couple more things and you'll pull your family out of poverty. I really hope so. Attach this to your chest. Our scientists require us to do this to see everything that happens in the enclosures. Scientists? I thought this was a zoo. True. Ever thought that the smart Alex belong right in the zoo? <laughs> hope you got the joke. Excellent. Now let's get started. First, grab your personal PDA. It's necessary for interacting with all the work objects. Congratulations, you've taken the first step to becoming a part of our close-knit zoo family. Wait, what's this for? He'll find out later. Okay, wow. Uh, first off, <laughs> very uncanny valley. The lips are not so soon. Oh, are you finally awake? Good, get up. It's time to get to work. What the hell? What did you do to me? I took care of your health. Working with animals requires prevention. You wouldn't want to bring some kind of infection home, would you? By the way, I took your phone as well. I'll return it in the morning after the shift. So I got the job? I thought we had an interview. My wife is waiting for me outside. The job will be yours if you make it through the night. Let's go. I still have a lot to show you. Oh. Okay. Oh, war. It's quite spacious here. Yep. This is our hub. You'll have plenty of everything here, except time. Now we're in the cold room. Here we store herbs, vegetables, and fish while the meat gets ground into portions for the animal rations. And right now, we're running low on herbs and vegetables. Got the hint? Get to it. You can find the instructions in your PDA. Okay. Load two herbal and one vegetable bricks into the brick trolley. I do have limits to my patience. I also have limits to your impatience. Are you deliberately wasting time? Yes. <laughs> yes, I am. I'm confused. I threw it in here, and now what? Huh? Oh, wait. Oh, there's portion sizes for each animal. Okay, this is something I need to keep in mind. Oh, my bad. What is this then? Oh, it's recycling. What was that? There's something in the works that you're not ready to know about yet. Let's start with the basics. And here's our K-A-T-I-E. Kinetic Automated Transport with Innovative Engineering. Katie will take you around the zoo. Katie? This is the refrigeration compartment. You need to load the brick trolley here. Until you load it here, Katie won't budge. To load the brick trolley, you need to activate the lever. Lord. Now, select the giraffe enclosure on the control panel and start the train. A lot of sophisticated tasks, but uh, I'm loving it. Doc, where are the seatbelts? Doc, why would you say that? There's no seatbelts. Right, whatever, fine. Okay. So, we're at the giraffe station. Now listen carefully, I won't repeat it twice. This is our mobile veterinary station. Here you'll be mixing medications for our animals. Are they sick? Well, they can be. We need to closely monitor the health of the animals. We have some quite rare specimens, so the thought of anything happening to them is out of the question. Take this seriously, and we should all be safe for another day. Follow me. This is our kitchen factory. To collect feces for tests, you have to feed the animal its favorite food. Here's where you'll prepare it. Choose the recipe from the list. Cut, mix, and you're done. Any questions? Yes. Excellent. The <laughs> zoo needs those who aren't afraid to ask. But even more so, it needs those who find answers themselves. All right, enough chit-chat. Go to the cutting table. Table? You need to select the giraffe from the list. Oh. Press on the cook button to go to the slicing screen. Click on the cut button, okay. Don't make a mistake with the weight. The exact measurement is displayed on the weight indicator. Measure carefully. Oh, uh, 
Uh, well, where's half? Right there? It's not enough, Paul. That's not enough? More. I'm sorry. It's not enough, Paul. Oh, wait, all, all the way. Excellent, Paul. Is this, isn't this just half? Interesting. Please accept button to finish. Perfect. Now activate the lever to lower the gadget trolley. I don't like that I have to keep track of this. This dog. dog. Uh, I wasn't. I don't. I didn't sign up for this. Technically, I didn't. Oh, this guy. Oh, got it. This is really good. I'm. I'm actually rather impressed by uh, all this. I never thought a zoo could be organized like this. A train. Trolleys? Yes, Paul, our zoo is quite unique. It's our pride. You won't see anything like it in others. Pride? But then why has the zoo been closed for the second year? People say the zoo is going through tough times. How would I know? I'm just a simple man. Clock in and clock out. And how long have you been working here? Long enough to teach you everything. Come on, move the trolley. This is the entrance to the enclosure. To open the door, you need to insert your PDA into the enclosure terminal and select Open Enclosure. Okay. Hello, giraffe. Uh, before leaving, make sure that all the symptoms are detected. Okay. We are in the enclosure. Now we need to feed our little creatures. Take the bucket and dump the food in the feeding area. Oh, hi, Cleo. <laughs> hi. What? What? Doc? 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 Where'd you go? Doc? Oh, you're right there. Okay. I have to check him. I can pet them. <gasps> I can pet the giraffe. Can I pet that dog? <laughs> and what's your name? Your name is Poe. Okay, Poe. So how do I how do I check your symptoms? Take the bucket. Where? Is this a bucket? No, let's take it. Wait, it's a note. Hold on, Doc. I didn't know there were notes here. How to dart. Oh, wait. Oh, there's a lot of things to work here. It seems the job is harder than I thought. Do I have to make some meds? If you deviate too much from the recipe, the animals might get sick. The risk isn't very high, but it's best not to break the recipe. Animals can see when I'm aiming at them. I need to approach them from behind. Okay, fair enough. Oh, you can expect everything. Okay. Hold on. Zucosis. I have to observe the behavior of animals. Zucosis can manifest itself in strange actions and weird movements of animals. Scars. I need to carefully examine the bodies of the animals for scars. Scars indicate that something is wrong with the animal. Yeah? Do you happen to have any scars on you? How would I know? I don't think so. Oh no. Oh no, Poe's asleep. Okay. Are you okay? How do I know? <laughs> would you care if I pet you in your sleep? I can. I'm sorry. Hi. I just really wanted to pet you. <laughs> okay. Um, where's this bucket? Where is the stupid bucket? I want the bucket. I want it now. Oh, wait. Am I? I think I'm a moron. Oh, yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> Pour the food into the feeding area. Task is completed. Ah! 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 Cleo! Hi! Oh god, everyone is here. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Hi, I know you're hungry, but you don't have to be so close. Alright, here we go. Mmm. Delicious sludge. Hello, Doc. Great. Now put on the MFE. What's that? Mobile fecal extractor. In simpler terms, a shit sucker. You've eaten shit before. And now you're going to suck it. I don't... No. Why do we need all this? <laughs> we need to constantly monitor the health of the animals, and taking excrement for tests is one of your key tasks. A um, hundred thousand a year, Paul. A hundred thousand fucking American dollars. You just have to collect the shit. Come on, Paul. Don't chicken out. I... <laughs> Alright, thanks, Doc. Vacuumed up the feces. Alright. I'm a ghostbuster this. Where exactly are the feces? Usually I would assume it's on the ground, waiting to be sucked. This is what my tax dollars are going into, people. Oh, yep. What is this technology? Cool. 
All right, task is completed. I like this. Now take the TIS. To avoid unnecessary questions, it's a thermal imaging system. You can just call it a thermal imager. It's needed to determine the body temperature of our animals. I, I'm just making sure you're human. I don't know, you could be one of them reptiles. Hello, my giraffe friends. Leo, hold still, I need to look at you. Oh, uh-oh. All right, who's burning up? You're the one who's sick. Yeah, it's Poe. I like this, this is really cool. Just doing simple things and looking at giraffes. Uh, hold on. Forgive me, dog, for I don't know how to put the thermal camera back on. As you can see, one of the giraffes isn't doing well. We need to make a dart with Temperalax. It's a medication for normalizing the temperature of animals. By the way, it was developed by one of the local eggheads. Interact with the terminal and press the exit and closure button. Yeah, this is really cool. I really do like it. Like In the terminal, you can check out. all the analyses you've collected in this enclosure. All right, take the trolley back to the train. Do I have to make some medications, too? Well, you studied chemical technology in Indiana. You'll manage. Damn. How do you know all this? Trust me, it's not something worth being surprised about here. But I barely lasted six it's months on there. Dog. Got kicked out in the first year. No worries. That should be enough to mix a couple of ingredients following a ready-made formula. <laughs> so we're from Indiana. Makes sense. Yeah, I mean... Other than the uncanny mouths, I really do like it so far, and it's only gonna get more tedious and I bet terrifying as I prolong and play this game. Congratulations, Paul. You've just come closer to success and the well-being of your family. Now, go and load the collected fecal matter into the biomaterial receiver. Don't carry anything into the car. Everything must be sterile. And don't forget to put the shit sucker back in its place. Uh-huh. Um... Okay, so here we go. Oh, this is section for parasites. Or I'm assuming it's parasites, unless that's just a caterpillar. I could be wrong. Oh, hi. Whoa. Why are you so jumpy? I, well, I saw you teleport. Now you need to load the trolley into the train. To do this, press the lever inside the car. Okay, Doc. You have some weird teleporting capabilities. I do really appreciate that the uh, the task thing tells you what you need to do. Excellent. Now this is our mobile vet station. To make temporal acts, you need to load the station with enough vials. I did it this time, but in the future you'll have to gather the vials yourself to cook it up. But keep in mind, chum, there are not so many vials. Think twice before using them. <sighs> okay. Look on the button to create temporal acts. All right. Perfect. Now take the dart from the dart dispenser. Cool, you've got temporal axe. Now load it into the veterinary gun. It's in the gadget trolley. Oh, here it is. Sorry, dog. I'm just gonna do it out of curiosity. Ah, oh, damn you, Hook. The sick giraffe, Paul. Be careful. Don't confuse Bo with Bo. Oh, Bo. Your name is Bo. My bad. Bo. Bo, Bo. Bo. I will remember. Hello, Bo. I have to wait where you don't see me. You don't see me? Yay! Hi, Cleo. Now what? Return to train. I thought it was called a trolley. Well, my job is done. We're not gonna worry about pulling out the thing. There's just some needle and some giraffes rear. So everything went smoothly? Seems like it. I did this for the first time. Hopefully he'll get better soon. Well, don't doubt that. We need to get back to the hub. I think I did an amazing job. I don't foresee anything wrong with this. Let's go. Escort me to the exit. It's time to leave you alone with our lovely zoo facilities. You trust me? You're putting a lot of trust in me, Doc. I don't know why I was standing at there, but oh, what is this? Vial box. Okay, okay. Oh, it's Doc, wait, Doc. Doc? Oh, hello. Every zookeeper is entitled to a service car. This one's mine. If you perform well tonight, you'll get one in the morning. Is that your wife? Should I tell her you're staying here for the night? Keep in mind, I'll lock you in until morning. No problem. I think she'll figure it out and go home soon. As you wish. Good luck, Paul. Don't mess up. Okay. You just 
happen to have a Ferrari. Aren't you someone with class? Okay, bye. Oh, oh my god. Criminal. <laughs> oh look, there's some flyers. The salary is a hundred thousand per year? I should just be a zookeeper. What am I doing? You know what? Screw YouTube. I I'm tired of chasing dreams. Paul, you entered here who knows how long ago. You're not answering calls. I'm worried. <laughs> Wait, can I just go my way to not answer? Lily, sweetheart. Sorry. Didn't hear you right away. Everything's okay. They put me on probation, but I had to start immediately. You should just go home. I'll be back in the morning to tell you everything. Paul, but I saw them lock you up. It's not normal. Yeah, it's just protocol here. They took away my phone and made me sign an NDA. And all I have to do is feed and treat the animals. Oh, uh, and by the way, uh, there's plenty of meat here. I want my girls to finally eat normal food. I'll be right back. Don't go away. What? No. No. Good food. I need to give some meat to my wife. We've been eating only pre-packaged meals for almost a year now. It's terrible for our little Gina. Little Gina shouldn't be eating processed animal food. Especially when I know what's gonna come in this game. I mean, I don't want that to happen. You're making a very bold and dumb mistake. Do I really need to give my wife the meat? You don't even know what the meat is. Here you go. Lily, are you here? Yeah. Take this. Give Gina a kiss from Daddy. It's time for me to work. You have just did something so stupid. All right, what do, what do we need? What are we checking? Feed the animals, okay? What am I looking at? Check the enclosure, feed the animals, collect analysis. Um, measure temperature, blah, 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 okay. Well, question is, what kind of animal do I want to see? I, I don't freaking know. All right. All we need is a little bit of a herb and a little bit of vegetables. Drag this to the, oh, it's a trolley. All right, that, that's a trolley, not a train. What's the difference, Felix? Ah, uh, did you see a steam engine? All right, instead of that, let me, let me try again. I just want to see the zebras. Oh, I can't even see the zebra, so I just did that for no reason. What the heck? Oh my god. Warning, animal may refuse to eat. I know. I know. Because you wasted my freaking time. I am missing the ingredients for a fucking wallaby. What the hell is a wallaby? I've never heard this animal in my life. Just look at the freaking wallaby. Wallaby station. Give me you. I don't like the fact that we can sprint. Hello? Who is calling? Night zookeeper, Paul Connolly. Oh, thank God, finally. Uh, please don't hang up. I've been trying to reach my husband all day. He's a scientist, Clarence J. Summers. People usually call him CJ. I'm sorry, people. I'm here alone. Please check for me. He should be in the lab. Uh, is there a lab here? Oh, I understand. You're new. Then, one last request. Look in his locker in the break room. Code 1768. Ma'am, this doesn't feel right. Paul, I'm begging you. CJ needs to take his medication regularly. I just want to make sure he has them with him. Just open the locker, that's all. I'll call back. Well, sorry, lady. I have a job to do. Hi, guys. I know you all are hungry. Oh, jeez. Here you go. Yeah, you're behaving kind of weird. Not really a big fan of that. It's okay, we'll get you fixed up. What? UV flashlight? Well, I mean the UVS, yes, but you. Why are you behaving that way? I can pet you? Aren't you like some animal I should be touching? Oh, he just gave a little head pat. <laughs> <laughs> they have influenza, okay. I'm gonna get you fixed up, okay? The dog's orders. Well, it seems as though they're all fine. Oh, yes, it's easy. Oh! What?
Um, we just throw up for no reason. It, we, we, it's the influenza. We have influenza. Oh God. How do I, how do I self cure? Also, what's this about? Fire electrical lock. There's something in here. I doubt anything's gonna, yeah, okay. Oh, is this what it is? Okay. Oh. Thank God I have nudity off. Um. Hello? Damn. I, I mean, at Night Zookeeper, Paul Connolly. Don't worry, Paul. It's me again. How's it going? Do you need any explanations? Oh, I definitely do. I thought you had beef or, uh, I don't know, lamb in the fridge. And there. And there's a long neck pig. You see, Paul, dozens of parasites spread from the mother every day. They infiltrate our animals and they turn into, how shall I put it? Well, what? monsters. And they have specific tastes. They need meat. What the? What the hell is the mother? <laughs> Relax. The mother is securely locked away. Not much is known about her, so they study her. Forget about it. You know your tasks. Don't worry about the rest. Fuck! I gave a piece of meat to my wife. You did what? <laughs> Sorry, Paul, but it's really ridiculous. Life gives you a chance to become a worthy, well-off person, and you take the easy way. Descending to simple theft. I, I said the same there thing. There won't be any more indulgence. So if they say grind bodies, you grind. They'll say kill, you kill. Got it? Got it. Just tell me where my phone is. I'll call Lily. Maybe she and Gina haven't eaten yet. I won't allow it, chum. If you call your wife, it'll be a direct violation of the NDA. What? No, Paul, you won't drag me into this. You'll have to fully feel the consequences of your misdeed. And now stop whining and go to work. I told you, Paul. I told you that this was a bad idea. But no, you wanted to be Mr. Good Guy. Great. Good job. Now we have a hanging... You're supposed to be dead. Sorry. Okay, so the mother is behind this door. I see nothing wrong about this. What am I doing? Oh, this is where the meat comes in. I put it here as a... Uh, if, if there happens to be very scary animals. No questions asked? Nothing to commentate on? You just know for a fact that you just literally killed a human being? Paul? Oh, it's because the NDA. Yeah, where her, where have I heard that before? I hope it was worth it. I, I know for a fact that it wasn't. Warning, animals may refuse to eat. Why would they refuse to eat? Is it because of their gorillas? I'm sure the gorillas are fine, right? Right? The gorillas are fine? Now, how, how exactly would I know they're infected? Uh... Oh, it's fine. I'll just help the gorillas. I know I should be feeding the infected animals, but first off, I don't know where that is and or which animals are infected. I mean, one had influenza. Whatever. We'll just feed the gorillas. Nothing could go wrong with gorillas. Oh, you, you can hear them being so happy. All right, anything here? Oh. All right, curiosity is getting the better of me. I finally found a way to cure that damn mutant with the experimental meds. I found axes on some CJ's PDA. Looks like he's an important dude around here. Give the mutant an injection of Toxius Feralsis. And by the way, it seems mutants can mimic different diseases? Oh. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. That's awesome. Good to know that the meat calms them down. Welcome to the gorilla enclosure. There's four of you? Oh, jeez. I better make this quick, and hopefully none of you... And none of you beat me up. Hi, guys. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi, gorillas. Please don't hurt me. I have the best of the best. If you refuse to eat... Um, that would be bad <laughs> for me. Okay, bye, gorillas. See, it's all fun and dandy. I know there's some animal out there that has a very terrible disease, but it's okay. It's fine. Hello, ape. That definitely is not good. Okay. We got bigger problems. Come here. 
Let me see your mouths. Your mouth seems fine. But you, Thor. Yeah, your, your mouth seems pretty good, too. Well, this is definitely not good. Oh, why is it steaming? Great. I'm dealing with steamy crap. This is what I really wanted to invest my time into. Hello, all. I don't think I want to pet the gorilla. <laughs> it just seems like a bad idea. Screw it. <laughs> yeah, you know, his expression was very much like mine. I, I too would be like, what the hell is human doing? <laughs> okay. Me doing this, I hope you don't punch me. Oh, he's got scars. Yeah, I know. The Dexter definitely has a lot of problems. Dexter also needs to let me to stab him with a needle. Dexter, you have you don't understand. I'm trying to save your life, Dexter. Look, I'm such a great zookeeper, I don't even stab you with a needle. Gorilla, I beg of you. You <laughs> what a Wow. Uh, you're awfully close. Hello? Can I help you? Oh, I forgot to do oh whoops, hold on. Hold on. We don't know entirely yet. Aw, uh, how the hell do I pronounce that? Almanthiasis? At, at least, that's what I think it is. If that's not correct, I'm gonna be very upset that I accidentally killed a gorilla. Alright, we've had too many cases. Oh, hey! Woo! Ah! Gorilla! Ah, uh, the gorilla is not what I think it is. Hey, all I ask is you don't hurt the other gorillas! Uh, oh, hi. Ah! Did I miss? I missed. Oh my god, okay. Okay. What do I do in the case of a, an outbreak of a gorilla? Damn it, I, I wasted so much time trying to figure out the cure, it, 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 it became something. Are you... Task has failed. Rescue the Thor. You're eating the other animals. You're not even the one I need to kill. One of the gorillas died, didn't they? Uh-oh. Oh, oh Thor's dead, isn't he? Oh no. I, I, I don't know. What do I do? I don't I don't know how to take I, I, What do I do with the freaking gorilla? Why am I doing this right? I don't know, I'm stressed out. It didn't tell me about this. It's just it is to eat meat. It, 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 all it needs is to eat meat. Task is failed. Rescue the chief. I'm sorry. I'm, I, I, the gorillas, I feel so bad. The heck do I need? I, I need meat, vegetable, and whatever the hell. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, the gorillas, they're so gone. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but the gorillas, they're in danger. I've already gotten two of them killed. I might as well get the last one. <laughs> Here, take it, take it. Eat the meat. I know you want that. More of me. Go eat the freaking meat. Are you good? Oh. Feed the monster with me. Everything's good? No one died? Hopefully. I don't know. You were eating something over here. Oh, it's Thor. Okay, so uh, not entirely good. Unfortunately, Thor had died. You know, I'm starting to come to the realization that uh, I don't think I was meant to be a zookeeper. Oh, it's still a problem? You're joking. Forgive me for what I have to do. I'm sorry. History repeats itself. I didn't want to do this. Come on. Come on. Ah! Oh my god. Um, let me get the shit sucker. Oh, God. Oh, ooh, what's going on with my hands? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, buddy, you don't, you don't seem to be so good. You got pox. That's what you got, you got pox. Is everyone else okay other than Thor? Is there a gorilla that's at least alive? Oh, Thor is happy but dead. Dexter, you're doing okay? 
He seemed awfully chill about the situation. All right, well, I've done my job. It's just very unfortunate that it had to be this way. Stick it in the freaking parasite trap. I'm so sorry, Thor. You will be remembered. Let's look at the penguins now. Actually, we gotta go to the hub first because the penguins need fish. Just an ordinary day at the zoo, killing my colleagues and, and the animals by accident. Hold on, let's look around for a bit. I didn't exactly check so much around here. Really? Oh, right. One, seven, six, eight. What's in here? All right. TJ, Summer's Experiment 23. Testing experimental meds on mutated specimens. They don't work during the frustration phase. The pathological cell division process must be completed. In other words, the organism must fully mutate. Access to experimental drug is located at the vet station. I also got a disc for some reason. Okay, all is good. Let's go check out the penguins. I've always liked the birds. I love the penguins. It's also very, what? The bl oh, the bio waste filter is clogged. Oh. I, I, what do I do with this thing? Task is complete. Really? The severed hand. Oh, I thought we were going to clean some waste, not organs. Great. Awesome. What am I go oh, wait a second. Oh, wait. I think I know. Hold on. Because he was like some important guy. Yeah. Look at that. Oh boy. Okay. Like board. It seems they cause mutations in humans as well as animals. Oh great. Finally I can understand how to not have another Dexter moment. Oh self. <gasps> Hello? Paul, is that you? You said they took your phone. Yes, my dear. I found where they hid it. Lily, please tell me you haven't eaten the meat. What are you talking about, Paul? We just had dinner recently. It was incredibly uh... delicious. Gina was simply in awe. No. Fuck. No! I don't want to hear anything about it. If there's anything left, throw it away immediately. Paul! Paul, what's wrong? You're scaring me. Just do as I ask. No time to explain. I'll be back in the morning and I'll tell you everything. Great. Great. Good job, Paul. Okay, let's look at the computer. Damn. Most likely all the information is stored on external drives. Without them, this computer is just oh, an empty shell. That's why we at have the end. disk. No, 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 no. We're not at the dead end. Paul, you're talking nonsense. Put in the C drive. Damn. Am I supposed to be a hacker? Without a password, this floppy disk is useless. I can't do anything here without help. Who are you? Dr. Oliver Metzger. What a surprise. Doc really turned out to be a doctor. Oh, wait. Oh. Uh-oh. He knows. I know it's you, son of a bitch. Hey, take it easy, Paul Connolly. <laughs> What's going on? Like you don't know, you bastard. You think just because I'm poor, I'm an idiot? You infected me with some crap and expect me to die like the animals in your fucking zoo? <laughs> Shut up! You think I wouldn't figure it out, Dr. Oliver Metzger? You said there was no lab here. So why the hell am I standing in one talking to you now? Oh, Paul, here you go again. Your ass shouldn't be where you are right now. This is a restricted area, not related to the zoo or your duties. And, yes, I did inject you with a parasite, but not to harm you, rather to protect you. Without it, your job would be much <laughs> harder. <laughs> if you use your head and get through the first night properly, I'll come back in the morning and remove it. You'll get your money after the first shift, and no one will get hurt. Just finish what you started. It's almost over, Paul. 
<laughs> Asshole! You think I'll believe a word you say after this? You'll have to, Paul. <laughs> You're locked in, and I'm the only one who can open the door. Plus, I've got an NDA signed by your own hand right in front of me. I'm just offering you a way out of this tricky situation, Paul. The choice is yours. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be back soon. I don't think you understand job. how NDAs work. Because <laughs> what you're doing is very criminal. We <laughs> get to see some penguins. And some penguins. We love to see the penguin. Let's make this quick. I'm going to get this done quickly. That way I don't get eaten alive by a freaking bird. And that way no one dies, okay? It's, it's one of those things that I just don't want to happen anymore. We've already lost so many good apes. Well, mm, <laughs> hold that thought. What's in here? Oh, just more cemetic stuff. Okay. Yep. And there's gasoline in here too, for some reason. We'll just make it quick. Welcome to. Oh my God! There's six of you. All right. Everyone's getting scanned. Little penguin. Daisy. Your name is Daisy. Put up your fins. Oh, I... My bad. I didn't want to pet you. Aww. Oh, that's so adorable. I hope you're not infected. Oh, okay. Temperature's good, though. Stop walking away. Don't you walk away from me. Thank you, Daisy. You've been a great patronage. Oh, Rocky and Luna? Uh-oh, Luna doesn't look so good. <laughs> look at him waddle! Kill the animals. Yeah, I know. I just gotta check them all. Uh-oh, we... There's another one here. Look at him waddle! I, I know it's the freaking AI being bogus, but look at him. <laughs> UV flashlight. Let me check them lips. Wait, you don't even have lips. You have beaks. <laughs> um, I can't tell if that's just a UV light or there's something wrong with you. Please. Please, Tinker. Please, Tinker. Tinker, you should be used to this. Please! Sorry, Misty. I had to stab you in your sleep. Something bad's gonna happen, and, and I, I I don't want another Thor incident. I don't want any of these penguins dying, especially Daisy. What is wrong with you people? W why did you give them names? I mean, generally speaking, I love animals, but like, oh my god. Stop walking. Everyone stop walking. Stop waddling. I don't know if I got them all. Also, I shouldn't be stabbing them with the same needle. Alright, Luna, you're clear. Come on, Tinker. Alright, Tinker, you're good. What about you, Misty? You're also good. What about you, Coco? All right. We've done a great job, y'all. Look at him waddle. <laughs> Look at him go. Put that in there. Okay. So now we gotta resolve the problem. We should be all good and dandy. I should take Coco's blood. I'm gonna do that real quick. Coco. Oh, you're right there for me. Thank you. Come here. No. No, don't, don't, don't you run away from me. Coco, please. Coco, I don't think you understand. You could be the problem. I need to stab you. Don't waddle your way over here. I need you to stop, Coco. Coco, please. Coco, no. Coco, don't do it. Coco, please, I need to... I gotta get your blood, Coco. You're wasting so much precious time. One of these friends of yours are gonna go off, including you. Pass is complete. Oh, that's good. That's awesome. Hey, Coco, please, can I stab you with a freaking needle? Please don't mutate. Please don't mutate. Please don't mutate, I beg of you, please do not mutate. I, I just, I just want to do my job, okay? Uh, while I am dying in the process, you know? But I have confidence that Coco is going to actually lose her stuff. Yeah, my freaking know it! Ah! Oh, heavens! Okay. Well, this seems bad. <laughs> Get away! Where are you? Oh, you're flying! Oh, it's a flying Coco! No, 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 get away! Get away! Get away! Get away! No! No, not the penguin! I'm not gonna shoot you with the right freaking thing! Wait, it's not Coco! Get away from me! It's not Coco! I thought it was Coco, but it's not Coco! Get away from me! Would you reload faster? I, I just saw a penguin die! Damn you! Damn you, freaking bird! How you not even supposed to fly? Nature's gift was to make you not fly! Everyone's okay, I think. 
Oh, yes, we rescued everybody. Good job, everyone. Who f who did I murder? Well, thank God it's not Coco. I always believed in you, Coco. Always believed in you. Coco seems just awfully chill. Also, no. No, you're sleeping very long. I don't- I just don't want Coco to go absolutely insane. Not like his big brother. Big brother was flying around. He- he did something he was not supposed to. Yay! Now come here, I need your blood. Well, I do too- Oh god! Ugh. Oh, it's just getting worse. Can I do anything with this? Damn. The phone did die after all. Aw. Oh. Well, that's such a shame. We might as well go back to the hub. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. Paul, my friend, where are you? Come here, it's time to see how you fared during your probation. Oh, Paul, you're doing great. The other subjects have been paralyzed for an hour by this point. You probably noticed that the creatures haven't bothered you. It's all thanks to the parasite. Now we just need to decide whether to remove it from you or not. I'm sorry, Paul. Mother is against it. Seems she's very hungry. She only eats what she kills herself. What? Goodbye, Paul. Tell Mother. I didn't have time to read the rest of that, my bad. In loving memory of Alexander Duggan, the screenwriter of Zucosis and our dear friend from all of us at Clapperheads. What? I think it's really good. I really do like it. I really, actually, I've actually really enjoyed it. Um, especially for how interactive it is with like, you know, the animals. Um, I just don't have the energy to keep going and trying to get these other endings because I, between recordings, it's like an hour or two long. I would definitely like to showcase the other animals, um, as well as maybe scream at whatever the hell they got. Uh, um, but that's definitely going to be the end of the video. So I hope you all enjoyed. If you like it, then like it. Subscribe if you're new here, and I'll see you all next time. Take care, y'all.